What's the difference between the AI solutions that impress and the AI that actually helps? We've just finished phase one of a project for a long-standing customer, and we're leveraging AI, specifically computer vision, to help process paper at a pace that was previously unimaginable. We're taking away the work of clerks having to type in dates and numbers and text, and we're having computer vision do that work for us. And if you know what you're looking at, it's an impressive thing to watch. But more importantly, it allows us to treat that human knowledge worker as the expert that they are and empower them to look for the real problems and actually move both faster and more deliberately. I think that's AI that actually helps. And a different take on that, just thinking back 120 years and asking what's exciting about what Henry Ford brought to the table, of course that car, the horseless carriage, but what he brought to the table was actually the assembly line, the mechanism that was then used ever afterwards. And so if we're talking about an AI solution and we're talking about the buzzwords and we're mentioning ChatGPT or Claude or Anthropic or whatever, that generates excitement. What doesn't generate a whole lot of excitement, but I think is where all the potential is in a customer and in a client where their data is proprietary or has PHI or personal financial information or things that, that, that can't be out on the internet. A local large language model and what that brings to the table, while not as sexy and as fun to talk about as the latest model that came out and hit the scenes, has huge potential for not only just our clients, but I think a lot of people, I would say the silent majority, who kind of look on with a little bit of disappointment that oh, it'd be so nice to be able to use that, but we just were never going to be able to put our data out there. And they shouldn't put their data out there. They should be looking towards the assembly line. They should be looking towards the real engine underneath all of this, which is the local large language model.